Having a ghost sighting in real life is too scary for most people to handle, and capturing a ghost on camera is even scarier. Four friends are playing Wii Sports late at night, with no one else home and no one expected to join them later. Keep in mind, this is 2008, when recording yourself playing video games without showing the actual screen was normal. Anyway, with their backs turned, a mysterious figure darts past the window unnoticed and unannounced. This strange silhouette is transparent and just kind of appears in the middle of the window out of nowhere, more like a ghost than a person passing by. Or it could be the person in the white shirt's reflection when they leave the frame and bend over, accidentally creating the illusion of someone running past. A boy thinks he's caught a real ghost sighting. He's checking himself out on camera when suddenly a ghost face in the window moves towards him before disappearing back into the night. There's a lot of pixelation around the boy's head, which at first I thought was due to a cheap camera, but then I realized this is probably a green screen. If you look closely, the ghostly figure in the window is wearing a red shirt that's similar to what he's wearing, so it's probably the same person. I think he recorded himself in the window and then superimposed it over this second video to make it seem like a genuine reaction to a real ghost sighting. It's pretty clever and almost fooled me until I took a second look. Anyone who's still in school has no doubt learned by now that remote learning is not very fun. However, every once in a while, something will happen to liven up the lesson or, in this case, make it absolutely terrifying. This teacher has been cooped up all by himself for far too long and really doesn't seem to be enjoying his job or much of anything nowadays. To make things worse, the students keep playing a joke on him by saying that there is something watching him from behind. He knows that students like to mess with their teachers however they can, and so he tells them that it's just him and his dog living there and no one else. Little does he know how truly wrong he is. <laughs> Around the corner is the pale grim face of a ghost, half covered in shadows as it peers in from the dark hallway. I wonder if her other side is twisted and disfigured. We never get to see. In true paranormal fashion, the scary face dares not to enter the light and retreats before its discovery. The teacher goes on to explain that he just moved into this house, and so there's no way anyone is behind him. But once again, he is schooled by the supernatural. The door opens without anyone touching it, and as the girl retreats into the next room, his dog, who has been quiet this whole time, starts barking out like a stranger is near. It whimpers as he closes the door. The poor thing definitely doesn't want to be left alone. A coffee shop in New Jersey, known only as the cafe, is rumored to be quite haunted. This used to be a hardware store long ago, and every day at 3 in the afternoon the old owner is said to still make rounds. A paranormal investigation team sets up a camera to test the rumor out, and sure enough, at 3 in the afternoon this light anomaly plays against the wall. It looks like someone is walking through the room at first, but then again, it could simply be light reflecting off the window of a vehicle driving by. Roughly half an hour later is when a second camera records this chair moving by itself. First it pulls out and then it smoothly goes back into place, like somebody sitting at the table. 
There are no strings on the legs and no visible shadow on the wall, so I think it could have been a ghost like they say it was. The ghost hunters also claim to have heard footsteps too, but unfortunately the video evidence does not have sound, so there's no way to verify that part of their investigation. This happened in May of 2020, so hopefully we get more potential ghost sightings from this coffee shop in the near future. A YouTuber in Belgium has a ghost in the window, and when I say in the window, I mean literally. This is my window. Strange. Go away. What is it? Go away. Spirit. He's not running his finger up the blinds because there's a heavy curtain in front of it. So tell me if you think a ghost is moving objects like he says. No way. Considering this is the only paranormal video he has, and the rest of his channel is about nothing but guitars, I think it could be real. Here's a vintage ghost video taken back when most people did not know how to edit anything at all. A ghost hunter travels to an abandoned house in Virginia on a road in the woods, with no street lights and no neighbors. A CCTV system is set up, which looks old fashioned by today's standards but was state of the art back in 2002, and at 8.13 at night, this pale ghost in the window is caught on camera. The ghost in the window is not the investigator, he's standing behind the camera adjusting it at the time. According to him, this window is 7 feet off the ground with no way for anyone to get up there in the first place. I was thinking it was a passing car, but he says the street was quiet as always, so maybe it was an apparition after all. Ryan Layton records what he says is a full-bodied apparition jumping over the table in his apartment. At two minutes, there is a loud noise, and some kind of pale, ghost-like figure appears in front of the camera, but is it paranormal or something else is the question. The webcam is low quality and skipping frames, so this could simply be somebody shining a flashlight directly at it to create the illusion of a ghost. Let me know what you make of this video, because to me it's kind of hard to tell if this video is supernatural or nothing special. A YouTuber named El Indocente is making a tutorial about how to repair a corroded window in his home. First, he puts special tape over it and hits it with some kind of industrial cleaning agent. Next, he removes the tape and applies more cleaner to get it sparkling like new, but here's a step he never expected to see. The ghostly image of his father unexplainably looking back at him. El Indocente swears that this is real and has no idea how his father's likeness is imprinted on the glass. I suspect that there is a way to transfer photographs onto glass that I'm not aware of. Let me know if this is some kind of special technique he's using, or if that's really a ghost in the window like he says. This bizarre home CCTV video reveals a scary moment when a mysterious shadow figure creeps across someone's front yard, moving down into the right and running along the length of their fence. I guess it could be a bug flying by, but the way it comes from around the house and continues through the yard is the same path a person would take on foot. The person who took this video thinks it's probably a shadow figure, and after reviewing the paranormal evidence, I believe him. Two friends stand on the edge of the woods, looking for a figure that's said to haunt their suburban neighborhood in Missouri. What they encounter while exploring this forest opening has left people asking if it's real or fake for years since. <laughs> A shadow person kneels in the woods, regarding them without saying a single word. They see the shadow for only a moment, but it's scary enough to make them drop the camera and run. Later, they retrieve the camera and upload it onto YouTube. If you listen closely, moments before they see the strange figure, you can hear his friend Ben saying he feels something piercing through him, something like its cold, lifeless stare. 
Salem, Massachusetts is considered to be one of the most haunted places in all of the United States due to its lengthy history of hunting witches and the foul spirits they bring. This ghost sighting was posted on Twitter by none other than the mayor of Salem. Eerie is how she describes it. A ghostly face with a furrowed brow and chiseled nose stares back at the mayor with a stern frown. I don't know if this lamppost is of historical significance, but it definitely seems to have become imbued with a spirit of some sort over the years. I doubt the mayor was doing this for attention, since she is already a high-ranking public official and gets enough of that already. If anything, the fact that she is willing to put her political career on the line by claiming that spirits are real shows how much she believes in what she saw. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Jose Cruz is stuck at home in Arlington, Virginia, so he decides to take a random video of the rain. Only when looking at the video much later does he notice the ghost of a girl twisting in the wind for a brief moment before fading away. From what I understand, falling rain is one of the most difficult things to fake in terms of video editing, which makes me think the ghost sighting is real. The more times you look at it, the more it looks like she really does stop, consider him for a moment, and then goes on her way. I mean, wind or not, rain shouldn't move like that unless something is physically under it. Things went very wrong when these ghost hunters went exploring the scariest, most haunted places around. In other words, paranormal investigations they'll never forget. 